Hello everyone. Today is uh, 11th May 2021. Mother's Day is gone. I had a wonderful uh, Mother's Day. Now I am standing uh, in front of this uh, Girard's Sort uh, Azalea. This year, this is the, the third year of this plant, but uh, first time I am seeing its bloom. Last year it had few birds, but uh, um, uh, after they had the words and uh, there was uh, some snow two three times though it was not a lot uh, but still there were some uh, snow and it damaged all the birds and um, they could not bloom as beautiful uh, as uh, this one um, so hardly I was able to see the bloom so this is the first time I am seeing this orange bloom so um, I have seen in our um, neighborhood or my town only few orange azalea uh, in few houses so I always wanted to have one so when I saw three years ago I bought two one I have planted here one on the other side other side of that uh, in same distance from this Japanese got leaf maple I have planted so this is the left side I will take you the um, right side of the azalea too but um, here I am starting my today's video so I thought let me show you a little bit it's not huge or a lot of bloom for people who have who are used to see those they may not find it interesting but I am so curious because last year I waited to see their beautiful bloom but I could not and this year uh, I am seeing so I am very happy and then this is the second one uh, right side of the Japanese cut leaf maple so see so I think they struggle little bit the roots because my all these mint they are spread they spreaded around it so maybe they are also choking uh, the azalea roots I think so but um, anyway uh, it didn't it it bloomed a little less than the previous one this is um, another my third azalea that is uh, next to the uh, orange azalea the other day also i showed you the tank but still this is crimson girard's crimson azalea Hardy Zerenium next to this red uh, daily leaf. The, the, in the previous video, the because I recorded around close to 6 pm, so the um, each flower was about to close. Now they are open. Here is the other one next to that um, new done uh, climbing rose and uh, that is that uh, oriental trumpet lily so next to that see this there are few more boards to open and now close to here is see this iris i so go to the other side to so a better view this is the day lily that i'm waiting for the color but see this yellow irish and then see this uh, white color this is in the front that is um, that is the gora that one is Gora and that is this Mayanite Salvia. So close to that, this is at the front. So close to that is this Elia.
here this is the allium which has very sweet fragrance sorry did i say allium phlox this is a type of phlox it is very nice fragrance so um, it, this is under the big tree of my left side of driveway so there i was and then close to that is that is impressed with the third host and the other day i said like i divided root so the third one i have planted that now it looks uh, small let me take it close so now it looks small but in uh, i think minimum five years it may come to its uh, full mature size and here is the prime rose I had one blue color too, but that is not blue. If you are able to hear the noise of the wind, which is not noisy, but I think in the recording I have seen it is noisy. So here in our zone, somehow I have experienced in spring either it is raining or it is windy. So it, is, it looks sunny. It is a sunny day, but it is windy. Here I am close to this dogwood the cream kusha dogwood or something its name so the other day it was very little i mean the blooms were very tiny the board now they have opened little more but still they will come to their beautiful color and bigger size maybe in another one week this is an azalea last year i bought seeing the yellow blooms in it so they already had a yellow bloom so um, seeing that i bought otherwise i don't uh, uh, want to buy azalea rhododendron in full price or big pot i mean but this one i thought was rare in our area thinking that i bought but surprise to me see the pink bloom right now only one bloom so i don't know more blooms are on the way or what i don't know but see so it's a, it surprises me do they add some liquid to um, reflect yellow color in the bloom and uh, it worked only for one year so remember this is my next to it i planted this eonimos and then one host i have planted there two days ago so i have some sowed some seeds there so so remember this plant if it is going to change into yellow bloom letter i don't know this is my new experience and this is my honeysuckle the other day the name was not coming to my mouth this is honeysuckle so at least one uh, bunch i am seeing the bloom and there are many many small small birds are there so happy with this plant and now see this chinese ball chinese snowball viburnum according to the tag I love this bloom but it is blooming. I wanted a uh, viburnum like this. I think this is called one type of double file viburnum or something. But anyway, it is a pretty viburnum but it is not the viburnum that the tag says. See the bloom, how it looks. But the positive part is I like this bloom better than the tag. So all I can say is I am lucky. But I was desperate to buy Viburnum and uh, though, though this bloom I like more, still when I saw this tag and I bought. So this is the tag, Chinese slow ball, which is round round uh, ball uh, shaped multiple uh, flowers. Um, but the bloom is different. See this bloom? I think in another one week they will open more see this bloom what I will do but still I uh, I have no complaint because even if it is different they are always prettier that you will like at least in my experience most of the um, azalea or rose or anything even if they are wrongly tag but uh, whatever the next comes I always find them pretty I'm 
surprised there are many plants when I bought and this is not the only one plant left there are many plants and in every that in every plant the leaf look looked the same and the tag was same so I don't know if they uh, put the wrong tag in every hibernum like this but anyway this is a very pretty hibernum with time it will grow um, uh, I mean in the height uh, bigger than what you are looking so right now I think it is three feet right now it is three feet and here is the status of the daffodils their beautiful days are gone and see this uh, crepe myrtle the flower will be red if they bloom then next to this uh, in that corner i have different seeds but in that corner in that corner i have few um, sunflower seed and then starting from here in in the um, gap of uh, i think uh, three three feet i have sowed a few um, that bronze color i think the color name is something different uh, sunflower which is going to be six feet for example see this one this is a sunflower so in nearly three three feet distance i have sowed sunflower seed uh, I think 11 days ago yesterday I was checking when I uh, when I saw these seedlings this is one so when I saw these seedlings I just wanted to know how many days ago I planted and after I do anything in my garden I, I always document so that I if I need some information I can check back so this is another um, sunflower so so here see this is one sunflower seedling see those are two sunflower seedling uh, this is that uh, kamas lily behind that uh, that is my newly planted limelight hydrangea last spring i planted so this year let's see how it is growing it has very good uh, feedback among every gardener they grow rapidly and the bloom beautiful let's see how it is thinking that i have not planted anything around uh, the limelight hydrangea so see this beauty i find it very pretty here see this pink uh, peony i gave the support because last year when I did not give all the blooms they fell down and um, it was not easily visible to the top so I thought I should not do that mistake again then this is the um, new done climbing rose see I just wanted to show you um, I think uh, trimming helped uh, a lot to develop better uh, new suits I think so see how beautiful they are looking see on this side too this is the nine bark summer wine nine bark after trimming the new branches look very good and i think i can i am seeing the um, birds new bird i think
think yeah this one that is new board this is also see new board so last year it didn't bloom this is the third year last to last year i planted so this year they will bloom and then next to that um, nine bark see the crab apple blooms are gone these are few irises i think they are all different color so i see the buds here this one too so and that is a pink potion veronica and i showed some um, sunflower seed here too see this one this one i am seeing too so like that in the other tree also i have shown some seeds let's check them so that crab apple this is another um, nine bark which i planted in december but i see here also some birds so and these nine barks were in a very big pot and uh, they had a very big roots so that's why i think on the same year they are blooming this is their first season as i planted in december and then they went dormant right so now this is the first time they are uh, uh, they have produced a new leaf in my garden so when you buy a big plant kind of you buy the time uh, what that means is suppose it looks like at least it is three four years old um, nine bark though it was in the pot because it was in a big pot big root definitely it was minimum three years old plant so that's why they are uh, uh, producing those flowers so quickly that's what i believe <laughs> uh, see this plum i mean plum plant so here also this is a peony one of my never gifted me because um, when they take their evening walk they are most of the days they used to see me in the garden and so when they went some flowers so they got uh, one uh, peony it is uh, surprise they, they called it is surprise uh, surprise peony because the color was not mentioned when it will bloom then only you'll know so um, i'm waiting for its bloom and uh, i don't see any sunflower seed i now i forgot whether i showed there or here because I was in hurry to sow some seeds, it is already in already May, so I was just rushing to to put it somewhere, somewhere. So I forgot whether I, I think I, maybe not because that is west side. So because they need east side sun. Oh, sorry, I found it. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I found it. See this one. See this one. Yeah. See sometimes logic work. I forgot where I sowed, but then I thought every time when i sow because they need a lot of sun my focus is always which way they will get enough sun and that direction only i will sow the seeds so those two i'm happy to see them and see this yellow iris this is yellow maybe it is going to bloom tomorrow that is for sure not yellow and the back side also some and see they are also i have plant, uh, planted uh, creeping flocks next to that um, plum here is another nine bark which is summer wine nine bark and here also i see lot of birds so it's going to bloom soon mm, so they are very good plants that is um, sunflower seed i need to clean more grass here and the other day i showed you i iris bloom more to bloom and here is the peach plant then see this uh, eastern red bird all blooms are gone but yeah see this beauty <laughs> so their baby branches are visible now I am in the far end of the fence. So 
show you this Mimi Azalea. I'm glad it didn't bloom because I don't want to miss the first day of this So this is how the status is. And see this European weeping beech tree. So the other day uh, it was cloudy I believe and the leaves looked uh, bronze kind of very light bronze color so now they are getting dark dark little bit see they are kind of maroon color now but in summer they become black kind of and that is soon going to bloom and this is the other day i showed you that i uh, planted uh, cutting of autumn jade sedum one on that side one on that side and in between they are in between they are and they are i had sown some uh, cleomy spider plant seeds and also marigold so let's see in few weeks i can see the seedling and i can show you and then i am in front of the um, wisteria to show you what our the bicolor color yellow iris is blown. And here it still it didn't bloom yet. So now I am here in near the white azalea. The other day it didn't bloom that much, but now I see a lot. So let me show you. This year is the first year of its bloom, so the plant is a small plant. But with time it will grow. But I like the bloom. the center has a very uh, light green uh, you see they are light green sprinkle dotted sprinkled I don't know how to describe but I hope you understand what I am saying geranium yellow geranium next to the gala apple this also started blooming and it has I think lots of bud I believe this is my biggest I can say biggest or yeah biggest by volume the yellow geranium in size and next to that I see some seedlings I showed I think two weeks ago some seeds and here is the other uh, azalea technically Karen azalea but anyway the blooms are beautiful i'm happy with it so i want to stop it here that's it for today thank you for watching